All right, here with Elijah Redfern of the Wood River Wilson Flying Eagles. First of all, I know it's good to get the win. These guys had three straight. Uh, I guess you guys have to feel good to fight. get back your biggest rival. Oh, yeah, it feels good to come down here and get a good, uh, you know, assertive win, a win with dominance, you know. It feels, it feels real good to come down here and handle business. Um, you kind of took the game over in the third. Talk, talk about that. Um, I knew we hadn't played our best basketball in the first half, and, you know, we were still up two with that being said. So, you know, I really wanted to come out the gate, you know, attacking strong and, you know, uh, and just try to end the game. Ron said you guys were settling for jump shots in the first half. Mm -hmm. Did you, you started really taking it to the uh, basket. Was that uh, what you wanted to do in the second half? You, you had to think they're not going to stop you if you're getting to the basket. Yeah, I seen the jumpers wasn't really falling, you know, so. My dad always tells me, you know, whenever they're not falling, get to the basket, get yourself going. And, you know, I, I did that. And then after that, I ended up hitting a three. And then, you know, got, got going from there. 24 points, it's a, it's a debate whether it was nine or 10 assists. You have to be, which one of those you more happy with? 1,000% uh, the assist, the assist <laughs> for sure. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to try my best to get, you know, my teammates involved, you know, all season long and, you know, get them going the best they can. So, you know, defenses don't have a game plan against us. A little smaller lineup in the second quarter that kind got you guys going uh, talk about that. Um, I think that lineup helped us a little bit because, you know, we really stepped it up on defense, got a lot more stops, and, you know, uh, ran a lot more. So. The Judd Preston Clary did tonight. You have to be really excited oh, yeah. about him. Oh, yeah. he, he, he did really well tonight. Um, I think we missed him a lot last year, and the fact that he, you know, played big tonight showed what he can do for us. Um, first quarter, what was going on? Um, we just started out a little bit slow, you know, uh, we kind of let them bring the game to us, and that's what that's what we can't let do. That's what we can't let happen this year with anybody. So, uh, you know, that whole, the whole first half really was, you know, controlled by them, and we had to come out of halftime fighting. I think they, I think we did that. Uh, we talked earlier over Shady about the, your matchup in Morgantown. Now it's coming up next weekend. Let's talk about a little preview of that guy. I know you're probably uh, excited to meet up with Sharon Young. Uh, yeah, Sharon's my good friend, you know, so. <laughs> You know, uh, like I said, we're we're always looking forward to that head-to-head -head matchup. You know, it's you you know, one, one of the best matchups in the state. Are you guys going to communicate this week, or are you going to be radio silence all week? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. If he hits you up, you'll hit him back. Yeah, I'll hit him back. Okay. It ain't no bad blood. It ain't no bad blood. You know, just looking forward to getting that matchup, and you know. Uh, answering a lot of questions that's, you know, been asked around the state. Right. Hey, life a great job tonight. Thank, thank you, man. thank you.